Greet peeps, it's the Living Fruits on YouTube and it's Thursday. Hey. Okay, first of all, can I just say how grateful I am for all the comments on my last video, all the love and the support, and in fact it was quite overwhelming. So I just want to say a real heartfelt thank you. It wasn't easy to um, come out and own up to all of that. I'm glad that I did and um, the support is just fantastic. So just really thank you for that and welcome to new subscribers and big up to old subscribers and much love to everyone who left a comment. In this video, I have some clips coming up which are just sort of random from over the summer. I hope they're kind of interesting. Also, there's some stuff I wanna clean up about the past and things that I have said or you may have read that I said about relationships and surrendering, particularly in the video that I made called She Fell In Love. So I'm having a chai latte and a little snack, which is one of my bliss balls. Thumbs up this video if you want recipe for the bliss balls, which are made out of sunflower seeds. Alkaline food, really good for human health. After these clips, I'm gonna talk some about what I need to clean up. I left my vlogging camera at home. And I'm going to meet a friend for something to eat, chill bitch. When you vlog often, you look forward to the times when you're actually going out, so you've got a story to tell. And I left my camera. And there's not very much charge on my phone. But um, we'll see how it goes. You were posing for a photograph, it's actually a video. Like a Some sort of exhibition happening. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'm going to be coming. What is it to do with? Um, advertising. advertising. Yeah. Anyway. building for cats to be on a high platform so they can look down because they're always at your feet so they're always looking up they're always not sure what's going on above a certain level so if you have like a shy cat an unconfident cat create a platform in your home so that it can go up high and look down build his confidence true the building work still going on still waking me up and just before I started filming there was some hammering so there might be some while I tell you about my smoothie. It's a bit of a celebration smoothie actually. It's banana and peach, just banana and peach, water and some dates. Mm. So it's a bit of a celebration smoothie because I won a contract yesterday like in my business and I always think it's good to celebrate. It's looking like I'm going to need a new computer because I use it a lot, like every day. I just can't be without a computer, like, I don't know, 99.9% .9 of people in the West. I've just switched it on. Okay, it's chimed, that's good. All is quiet at the moment. Do you hear that? I guess not above the noise of the builders outside. Okay, couldn't go without tasting it. just gives it that extra bit of carbohydrate warmth and deliciousness what about the building noise that's going on it's still going on I know oh my gosh I don't know how I've survived it so um, when I had met this person who has caused me such heartache I was really happy and I thought it was the real thing even though it was 99.9% .9 fraudulent you really need to watch out for these people I was asked oh my god how did you meet him how did that happen and one of the things I knew that was true to 
myself at the time and who I was being as a woman. I just embraced my single self. I embraced every part of me. And it felt like a form of surrendering to who I am as a woman. And it felt really positive. I still attest to that. I still believe that we have to surrender to who we are. For me, I found myself in this really difficult and challenging relationship. And, you know, that's my journey. That's my path. And for you, surrendering could mean the love of your life, the true love of your life, a new house, a new car, travel. It's not like, you know, what I said was fake or um, doesn't count. It's just that this is my journey. Your journey will be different. I feel like I'm in a place of surrender yet again. I have no choice. How am I doing? It's still emotionally turbulent. I've taken on this healing modality, which is really deep. It really, it, it works at a cellular level, cellular level. And I have connected to things in my ancestry, which is kind of, I wouldn't say scary, but it's, it's really emotionally draining and, um, you know, where I'm now, like, I kind of don't know what I'm supposed to do with a lot of the stuff, the things I'm finding out about, the traumas that happened to me, you know, as a child, and also in past life, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. I've been advised to hang in there, and that I will break through, and, you know, I'm all about the breakthrough. <laughs> I'm just so determined to get back to the woman that I know myself to be, you know, the one who's not afraid to travel, you know, by herself. All that travel that I've done in the last couple of years just seems like such a distant, you know, such a distant past. I know that woman's still there and that um, she gonna be bigger, better and stronger. One thing that I wanted to um, share with you actually, that a, a great friend of mine in Kenya shared with me. She spoke about palate cleansers, like something like challenging would happen. I don't mean like deeply challenging, I mean like something would like annoy us and she'd be like, oh, palate cleanser. We were traveling across the southern part of um, Kenya from Mombasa to a place called Funzi Island and it's normally like a two hour two and a half hour journey it took us six hours to get from Mombasa to Funzi Island we were you know singing I was singing Bob Marley tunes I wrote poems like just to sort of keep ourselves going <laughs> and prior to that we'd watched the moon rise the night before on the beach um you know just had a really wonderful time and then this six hour nightmare then we arrived you know in Funzi island which was like an absolute paradise i'll post some pictures it was amazing i've had such warm beautiful life affirming memories from Funzi island and the women that i spent time with there that six hours was like the palate cleanser in order to be able to enjoy the magic that was Fonzi island we had to break off from what was so fantastic and beautiful and life-affirming to really appreciate what was to come next so you know i'm embracing this journey as a massive bloody palate cleanser i don't know how else to deal with it that's what's up. I'm okay. And yesterday I went out to the um, supermarket and you know almost freaked out and again was advised that this is part of what will happen post narcissistic abuse or domestic violence of this kind. So I'm just hanging in there. I'm good. All right I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah leave me a comment. You can tell me if you like the clips in between and anything else that you want to say. I hope you're really well and just sending you much love. And don't forget to keep reaching for those good feeling thoughts.